Hello, and welcome to episode 15 of my No Man's Sky tutorial Let's Play series. In this episode, I want to show you some more points of interest because I managed to find the one that I did want to show, and also I want to show the plasma launcher. First, let's take a look at this uh, new point of interest. Thankfully, I've parked a bit closer to it. Okay, so as you can see, with this point of interest, there are two structures. Well, three in actual fact, including this one. And we've got a nice radar dish there. Okay, now this one is hopefully going to give us an upgrade to the multi-tool and increase our standing with the a king, Viking or whatever their name is. The first thing though, however, is I want to find where it is I can save this. Oh, there it is over there. There we go. Okay, now at this one, there are some cargo crates and some salvage over there and some stuff in the buildings. Let's hope I've got enough pocket space. Oh, goodness sake. Let's have a look. Uh. Ah, right. Okay, great. I've been wasting space in my exosuit since episode about episode 3 or 4. This I am not using. It is for uh, a toxic planet. So why have I bothered to have it? Why am I slotting it when I don't need it? I can re-slot. The reason I didn't remove it straight away is because I didn't realise that you can just simply remake them and put them back in. Now, I, however, I do know that. So I'm going to get rid of it. And that's given me now another free slot, not being wasted. If I want to put it back, it's very simple. I just rebuild it. Notice I've also got this one that I found, which is for a cold planet, which is the other planet which I've been to, which I'll use when I focus on that planet. For now, however, I've just saved an extra space. And space, trust me at the beginning, in your inventory is valuable. There, we've managed to create three. I need to sell that. Radiation protection falling. And maybe I should sell this, but I've been hanging on to it for an upgrade. Anyway, so let's come out of there. Let's try again, see what we get. Oh, another bead. Got to sell it. I think they're worth quite a bit, though. Yeah, 12,000 each. Oh, well. Oh, and another bead. All right, great. This must be bead. Bead, uh, city of the bead or buildings of the bead anyway let's have a look so this is another atlas pass I'll have some fun hacking into that eventually okay over here let's have a look at this salvage okay so pulse jet tar pulse engine companion unit so it will help me uh, with my uh, pulse when I use the pulse engine increased maneuverability and longer boosts so that's got to be cool now oh, that's why I kept the neutrino, neutrino module for this upgrade because I did think it would be very useful so there we go that's why I'm keeping a hold of that for now though I can't do it because I don't have two of these neutrino modules and I don't want to use up more space in my craft okay let's look in these buildings and see what we can find in them. Radiation protection stabilizing. Okay, another hopefully another upgrade for our multi tool. Ah, so this is for what I'll be demonstrating, a companion for what I'll be demonstrating in a little bit. Yeah, so yeah that should be a bit of fun uh, that's definitely another episode okay so let's tab out there okay so we've got another multi-tool upgrade what else is in here 
Ah, now this should give me increased faction with the Viking. So whenever you see these uh, research specimens, that's what I've been getting so far. Always a faction boost. So let's do it. Your standard with the Viking has increased. There we go. And that looks to be it in here, in this particular building. Nothing else in here. Let's move on. Okay, that just looks like a structure we can't interact with. Unless I'm supposed to jump up and fall down into it. And I don't want to do that because, well, I could get out, but let's move on. What's in this one? Okay, let's look what this one will give us. Remember on the last time we got... Uh, well, I've got credits and I got... Was it? Shield boost. That was it. Oh, here we go. More units. So that's what I get the majority of when I use that. Okay, let's go spin the chair. <laughs> Why you'd want to do that, I don't know, but there you go. And is there anything else? No, that looks like it. So there we go. So there's that structure and this structure. Oh, maybe it's a uh, launch pad. Looks a bit small though for one. get a better view from up here I guess but can't interact with anything yeah so I guess you just come up here to take a look around oh there's another planet behind that planet oh no that's the planet I've been going to I think or is it or is it that one I think it's that one. So there's another planet the other side of it I can go visit. Oh, that's the one with the two moons. One's there and one's there. I'll go to that one after I've been to that one there. But I still haven't discovered properly that one. So anyway, there we go. I'm waffling on. Let's. Where's that other structure? Let's see if we can... That's definitely going to be a bit more difficult to get into. Alright, can't get into that one. It just rebounded me, rebuffed me back from it. But there we go, so there's that. Right, let's get back in my ship and then show you the plasma launcher. In fact, let's not get back in my ship and show you it over here. Because notice my environment uh, is, well it's down to about 70, 80% now. So, if you're stuck somewhere, not near your ship, and you're in a hazardous environment and it's dangerously low, the way you can get yourself out of trouble real quick is to meet my little friend. So, let's bring him up. Okay, so I've emptied out the slot by moving over, removing that uh, increased range for the scanner. I haven't really been using that much um, because I've got use. Yeah, chill. I've got used to what all of the plants and rocks give me on this planet, so I didn't need it, and I haven't needed to use this, because it basically does an arc around you, a big circle around you, uh, picking up all the different results. Well, let's show you, for goodness sake. So press the C key, it'll do a quick scan around me, and that's going to do my shield. That's uh, going to be some plutonium or a resource like it more there you go see plutonium oh the gamester was right for once in his life there oh, let's do it again there is there's another shield boost my shield up that one is that a cargo container if you find them they've got resources in them um, that's what we just discovered so there we go let's look at the plasma launcher right so we're going to slot it in here notice that um, 
this has this bar down the bottom of it, whereas that has the green laser on it. So we'll slot it here. Okay, so we've now got the plasma launcher. Let's try using it. What fuel? Ah, so it's using it uses uh oh, carbon. Perfect. Right, let's check it out. So your environment suit's getting critically low. You need to get yourself out of trouble. Now I'm presuming it's attached to the bolt caster because it's not coming up as an option. Ah oh, no, middle mouse button to activate. Okay, so let's pull it back to oh, let's pull it back to my mining beam. And now it does warn you the game about if you use it too close to you. And it does warn you that you'll do a lot of damage to the planet and that means the sentries are gonna come after us. So we'll try it quickly over there. Oh yeah baby, check that out. Now that was very cool. Ouch, what on earth was that? Is it one of them little plants? Well something just hurt me. Was it something flying by? It, well, I don't think it liked whatever it was, me blasting a hole in the planet. Let's do it again. Let's first top up my shields. My life support, that is. Hmm, got lots of zinc now. Don't need to do my hazard protection, though. Because uh, I'm going to be hopefully underground soon. Ah. Something is harming me when I go near it. It's like it's got even more radiation. No, no. Oh, bugger. No coal down that. No. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying to see if there was a cave there, but there isn't. As you can see, though, you can have a lot of fun with this uh, blaster, this plasma blaster. Let's quickly get him back in my ship, top up my... I was hoping to blast through to a cave, but I guess they're not everywhere, these caves. Right, okay, let's check. How much fuel has it been using up? How much carbon? Oh, not a lot. Unless it's automatically taking it from my, one of the resources I've got. Okay, let's get out and do some more blasting. I'm in the mood to blast. Yeah, that's a separate entity on itself to your bolt caster. Nothing to do with the bolt caster. We know this because there's no border around the edge, even though they're slotted side by side. So that's a totally different tool to this one. And I have got an upgrade for this, but I need to keep the bolt caster in case something comes and attacks me. I've tried laser beaming, mine, mining beaming creatures to death. It takes too long. Invariably, you'll die before it does. Especially as it doesn't use up much uh, fuel. Oh, there you see, it's auto reloading. Through, no. Hmm, I think that's as deep as you can go by the looks of it. Or is it still going down? I think I can see some plants. Plants. Oh, what am I doing? I think I can see some plants down there. Let's go down. Radiation protection stabilizing. 
So there we are, there's a demonstration of if you blast a hole, you can get out of the harm's way. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Can't analyse it. But there's no cave here, and that's what I was hoping to find. Let's just check how much it's chewing up of my... I'm hoping it's using the carbon. But it don't matter, whatever it's using. No, that's not punching any further, so it's not going any deeper or, or Let's try this direction. Weapon charge deleted. Weapon charge deleted. Technology recharge. Yeah, don't use a great deal. Technology recharge. So, okay, that's where I come in. Let's try this direction. You all know I like a bit of mining. Can we go deeper? We can, we can go deeper. Oh, you see that little... Uh, is it a red little creature? Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can scan it. Some alien life form. No doubt more intelligent than me. No, I can't scan it. I do wonder where it's come from. So, as far as I can tell, you can drill yourself a hole to get out of harm's way and go a few feet. Um, as for going down, I've reached my limit downwise. Well, Scene Murray did mention um, that he's going to be at some point introducing base building into the game so we can build bases so no doubt this will be a nifty tool for cutting out a nice area to build your base in so that will be a really cool update in the future when uh, Hello Games hopefully add that that was lucky I had just enough jet boost to get out Okay, so there's the plasma launcher. Now, of course, there are cave systems, and I wasn't lucky enough to find one. But when I do, I shall demonstrate that as well. But for now, there's the, the plasma blaster and what it can do. Wherever you are in the galaxy, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.